If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I post a new Tom Brady video every day. So this is what Tom Brady does when he's not playing football. He's playing golf with Michael Jordan. Wow, Tommy, what are you drinking there? Actually, is he chewing? What are you eating, Tommy? That looks really good. He, he seems to be really enjoying that. I really want to know what he's eating there. Well, I don't do cook. I don't cook and my wife doesn't cook, so someone's got to make the food. Wait a second now. <laughs> so is that the secret? Do we all need to have a personal chef? No, you could No, you could probably do it on your own. Okay. It just it requires probably a little more time and effort. It's not the effort I don't put into that because I'd probably screw a lot of those recipes up. Um, and I want the food to taste good. I want people to actually eat it. So you probably need more professional that can commit more time to those things. While a personal chef is helpful, Tom admits that like all of us, he still has his moments of weakness. So do you get to cheat? Yeah, absolutely. Do you? Yeah, I think you should What's have- What's your cheat food? Hmm. I mean, who could ever turn on like pizza or, you know, something like ice cream pizza. That's always the good yeah, stuff. Yeah, like a deep dish. I ate too much of that when I was a kid. So I actually got a lot of that out of my system when I was younger, so. Now, if I want that, it's just, you know, special occasions and stuff like that. And being a great teammate on his day off, Tommy goes and tries to recruit more players to the Bucks. Go Bucks. Oh. Jules, what's up, bro? You ready to play? Braves. Coaching's overrated, bro. I know you still got it, Randy. Let's get back to playing. Uh. Willie Mack, Teddy, Wes, Ocho Cinco. I guess I'll just play online. <laughs> this part here is pretty cool because I read a fair bit about Myra Craft and she seems like such an amazing woman. I told one of my favorite people that you all were going to carry the name of my sweetheart. Myra Kraft, and he thought how special it was. Both he and Myra were great fans of one another, so he just wanted to say hello to you with Benny. Where's Benny? Right here. Benny, hi, you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and the Oscar goes to... <laughs> Anyhow. It's nice to meet you guys. Congratulations on, obviously, a great achievement. And... I wish you guys the best of luck. I wasn't really dressed for the occasion or expecting this, so, but it's a pleasure to meet you all. And um, you, know, you guys are the leaders of tomorrow, so you guys are going to be leading little boys like this and little girls like my little girl. And uh, you know, we're lucky to really recognize you guys tonight. And thank you for allowing me to be a, a real small part of this. And it's for uh, Myra, named after her, and you know she was. A wonderful woman, you know, you guys didn't get to know her like I did, but I remember my little boy playing with her, and she was an incredible woman, and, uh, you know, you guys should be really proud to be under her namesake, so thank you guys. Green that tea? No, you run out to outside, this is where it's safe. Okay? Green that tea? Green that tea? Ready? Bay pattern to the corner of the end zone and a leaping catch for the touchdown. Hey, look at my down. Look at my down. Look at my down. Look at my down. Benny really has moved. He looks awesome, Daddy. Jimmy G there looks 
like that Wolfpack crowd that they've been talking about. The crowd now chanting Brady. Come on now, you didn't think I was going to show a Patriots Super Bowl parade and not show a Buccaneers ring ceremony now, did you? Well, I don't, yeah, no, I didn't, the jersey, yeah, I put it in my bag, and then I came out, and it wasn't there anymore, so it's unfortunate, because that's a nice piece of memorabilia, so if it shows up on eBay somewhere, someone let me know, I'll try to track that down. I saw how upset you were in the locker room last night about the jersey, so I have two questions. First of all, had you intended to give it to your mom or to your parents, and did that factor into it at all? I, um, I, I those are pretty special ones to keep, you know? But um, what can you do? I'll take the ring and that's good enough for me. Hey, what's up everyone? So this is a real first for me, but I've been talked into giving out my cell phone on the internet. So listen, rule number one, before we get into any of this, no texting on game days. Really though, what this is, is it's a tool that will allow me to communicate more directly with my fans and my followers, uh, where we can actually do a better job of responding to you and your questions and all the great messages. Sometimes it gets hard to sort through the, you suck Brady in the comments. I know there's quite a few of those over the years. It's usually from the Jet fans, but to be clear, if you do text me, you suck, yes, I'll see it. And uh, I may or may not respond. So shoot me a message. I promise I'm going to get back to as many of you guys as possible when I have the time. Tonight, that new video, which authorities say shows former Mexican newspaper editor Mauricio Ortega in a Super Bowl caper. It starts on the field. There's Tom Brady pulling off his jersey, handing it to a team employee. You see him carrying Brady's jersey and his pads into the locker room. Then at 10.04, Ortega enters the locker room, blending in with head coach Bill Belichick's posse. He's wearing a shoulder bag and for an instant looks right at that HD camera. Exiting 14 minutes later, black plastic bag now under his arm, allegedly containing Brady's jersey, making a beeline off the field. Tonight, here's that jersey. And authorities say Ortega's done it before, taking this one after Super Bowl 49. Mr. Ortega, Matt Gutman from ABC News, I know you're inside. Just want you to come out and tell your side of the story, sir. Nothing. Now Ortega has resigned from this newspaper, but he is still a free man. And then later I did a pilot with him with Jennifer Love Hewitt. He had won his first Super Bowl, I think, or may, might even been a second. Hold on a second. What do you mean? You did a pilot with Tom Brady? Yeah, I did a pilot about? with Tom Brady. And Jennifer Love Hewitt? Jennifer Love Hewitt. What was the name of the show? So it never was, aired? Never I got played to her air? father, you know, and uh, uh -huh. and this was, this was funny because she came to me... Uh, she was single and so was he, but I think she didn't know he was sort of engaged. Mm -hmm. So she said, would you go to him and tell him that I'm interested in him? I think he's, I said, what about me? <laughs> what about me? Got the <laughs> so Jennifer Love Hewitt wanted to use you at O'Neill as well, Cupid with Tom Brady. She wanted me to be the Cupid. Yeah. And, uh -huh. uh, but I think we all know he only has eyes for Giselle.
that's it for this video. I post a new Tom Brady video every day, so please like and subscribe. That way you'll always have a new Tom Brady video to watch every single day.